everyone. Welcome back again to our 12 days of Christmas. Today we are going to be making pipe cleaner ornaments. I'm going to show you how to make a little angel and a poinsettia that you can hang on your Christmas trees or give away as gifts, whatever you want to do. You're going to need for the angel, you're going to need two silver sparkly pipe cleaners. You can actually use just regular fuzzy pipe cleaners if you want, if that's what you've got on hand. Um, but you're going to need two of them. And then for the poinsettia, you're going to need two red ones and one, actually you're only going to need half of this gold one. So I'm going to start with the angel. You're going to take your one pipe cleaner. You're going to cross it into a circle. So you're going to make an X and twist that at the top together so that you have a silver circle like that. And I'm going to go to the opposite side here. You're going to stick your finger in it and you're going to twist right below your finger twice around so that it holds really well. Now I used my index finger on this one. Um, you might want to use your pinky finger because that's going to be your halo. So you want it to be a little bit on the smaller side. So you're going to have a little circle there. Then just under that circle that you have just created, you're going to take, I'm going to use my thumb and you're going to put that right underneath and you're going to make another circle. That's going to be the head of your angel. You're going to twist it twice right underneath and then you're going to have your little halo. So you're going to have sort of a pear shape and two little circles at the top. You're going to bend this top circle down about 90 degrees for our floating halo. And then you're going to take the bottom and you're going to stretch that into a triangle shape. Just like that. So there is the body of our little angel. Pretty simple. Next, we're going to do the wings. We're going to start the same way. We're going to make a circle. Cross over in the middle. Just like so. So there's your circle for the angel. Then you're going to squat that down in the middle just like that and you're gonna put the angel's head through that now once you've got that on the angel what you're gonna do is you want to center it right near where her neck is gonna be and then you're gonna twist a couple times on the sides to hold that in place and those are gonna be your wings so you're gonna shape those into little wing shapes just like that, and ta-da, you've got an adorable little pipe cleaner angel. Doesn't take very long at all to make. You can make lots and lots of them and give them to everybody you know, or you can just decorate your entire tree with them. At this point, I went ahead and added a ribbon to mine. You could use, if you have that metallic cording, um, that might work a little better as it is a little bit narrower, but you can use whatever you've got on hand. I like to take my ribbons, I'll tie a knot in the end of mine, like so, and then I like to do sort of the loop and tighten thing. So what I'm gonna take, do is take mine, and I'm actually gonna put it through the halo here, just like that. And then I'm going to actually put the end I tied right back through there and just pull it up. So the tie will be on top, um, and that's gonna hold it real nice, but it's also gonna make it easy to take off if I wanna change it out for something else later, or if, I need the ribbon for something else if I want to hang it up differently. And so there you go. So there is our little angel ornament. She can hang on your tree. She can hang on your mantle. She can pretty much hang anywhere. All right, next we are going to make this cute little poinsettia. Also really easy, doesn't take particularly long. For this, you're gonna need your two red pipe cleaners. You're gonna twist them together at the top, about a half inch or so down. Make sure they're twisted together real good, like so. Then you're going to take two fingers, stick it right underneath that twist, and you're going to twist it again, about twice around. Okay, pull those fingers out, move them down to below that twist, do the same thing again. You're going to go your whole length down the pipe cleaner. Now my fingers are just the right width if I use two of them to get about six of them, which is actually perfect for your poinsettia. If your fingers are a little wider, you might want to use one finger um, if your fingers are a little skinnier, you might need to use three. Um, so we're going to keep going all the way down with our twists, making these great little loops. I got three, four, five, and one more at the end. Let's make sure that that's flat. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that all your loops are going in the same way so that you can lay it 
flat down and they're not all kind of twisty and curvy. And it's okay if they're not perfectly the same shape or size, you're gonna reshape them anyway to make them look more like um, petals. So I'm gonna twist that last end together like so. So now I have here my six petals. What I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna go back to each loop and I am going to stretch it out so it's sort of petal shaped. So we're gonna pull those loops apart so that they sort of become these nice oblong little petals. I will tell you the first time I made one, I had to go back and do it again because it didn't turn out so great. Um, the second one came out much, much better. So if you have to do more than one, that's okay. So then you're gonna have this sort of accordion looking thing, just like that. And you are going to curl it into a circle and then wrap your ends around. What I like to do is I like to cross them right there at the point, I don't know if you can see that, right there. And then I actually like to wrap the ends to the rest of the, the thing. Rather than wrapping the ends together, I wrap it up the edge of the petal there. Um, I think it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. Careful, the ends of pipe cleaners are a little bit sharp and they will poke you. Um, at this point, if you just wanna kinda keep shaping them so that they look sort of more like a poinsettia leaf, which you're, or a petal, you're gonna see poinsettias tend to be a little bit more pointy and kind of even them out as best as you can. And you'll get your little poinsettia flower, just like that. Then you're gonna take your gold pipe cleaner, you're gonna fold it in half, and you're actually gonna cut it because we only need half of our gold pipe cleaner, okay? We're gonna put the other half aside, we're gonna take this half here, we're going to thread it through two of the petals that are across from each other. So I'm going to put it in here and then directly across, I'm going to put it on the other side. Just like that. And then we are going to take that gold pipe cleaner and we are going to twist it together all the way the whole length of the gold pipe cleaner. We're going to twist and twist and twist and twist so that the whole length of that gold pipe cleaner is twisted together. Like so. And once you've got that done, there it is, it's all twisted together. You're gonna flatten it down and you're gonna make sort of a spiral here in the middle of your um, poinsettia with it. Now I will say it is easier to move the poinsettia than the pipe cleaner. Once you get to the end, you're just gonna wrap that right back around and tuck it in. And there you go, you've got your little poinsettia flower. From here, You're gonna put your little ribbon on, or your metallic cording, or whatever it is you're using. I'm gonna do mine the same way I did it the last time, tie the knot in the end, and then swoop it around and pull it through, because um, that, I think, makes it nice and simple, just like that. And then I'm just gonna pick any random petal and stick it right through there and pull it tight. And there you go, you have created a wonderful poinsettia ornament. Thanks for joining me and I hope you've enjoyed our 12 days of Christmas so far. I'd love to see your creation, so just snap a picture of those and place it right underneath this video link with the hashtag CLSV12days. Bye.